Hello friends and welcome back to Oh Honey Gaming. I am back with the last part of the bonus episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm Farewell. We have already completed two parts and I believe we're already halfway done. At least that's what it looks like to me. We are about to bring the amulet to Chloe and we're trying to find the treasure. Let's go. I wish this was big enough to jump in. It's only September. It'll be totally dive bombable in a few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks. Oh. Is there more to look at here? A tire garden. Okay, hold on. Let's look at these because this is for the house. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old color go. I don't know. I think I would like the blue more. I was looking at all the signs back there, sorry. This was a fun experiment. I'm almost surprised we actually managed to grow something. Nice. I love that they did that. Great. Oh, that's Bongo. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so hard. Uh, so Bongo died earlier this year, because this... Didn't they say this is 2008? And then... So Bongo's I can't gone. Wait to see what we're supposed to do with the amulet. Bongo's gone. Chloe's dad dies, and Max leaves. I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke. Not hiding very well, but you know, are we gonna sit at the table? No. Okay. Chloe and I have done lots of homework at this table. It's so weird we're at different schools now. I still wish I could live in the world we drew. Super cute. I've spent so much of my life here. Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. Where's she gonna throw this? Oh. These games we're playing. Buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this all selfish of me? Why is this making me feel more guilty about leaving? How am I going? What's up, dude? Bro, don't you mean sis? Maybe I meant nerd. Dork. Punk. Punks are cool. She would say that. <laughs> you know what, Max Caulfield? What, Chloe Price? You're the freaking best. That's all. Aww. Damn right. <laughs> About time you realized it. Tell anyone and I'll deny it. Okay, enough of this shit. There's treasure to be unburying. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. Never mind. There's more to look ah, at. Ah, my greatest work of art. I call it how I lost my magnifying glass privilege. <laughs> Great art is never appreciated. I've never tried melting anything with a magnifying glass in the sun. Might have to try that with the boys, with my kids. I think they would enjoy yo that. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's rum for me. Do you drink this? Yar. <laughs> no, not really. I had to fish an empty <laughs> bottle from the recycling bin. That's probably for the best. Some pirate you are. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. He definitely likes blowing things up, that's for sure. I'm really gonna miss Price family barbecues. All I'm saying is, 
I've never broken my wrist taking a picture. <laughs> Alright, so there was this cannon to look at. This thing looks so much smaller than I remember. I can't believe Chloe still has it. Actually, after this morning, <laughs> I can. She doesn't want to throw anything away. Glider swings. The best way to simulate a storm on the high seas. All right, so let's take a photo of her. Hey, Chloe. Yar. <laughs> Land ho. <laughs> Perfect. Do we get to see it? No, but I want to see it now. Oh, that's cute. All right, give her the amulet. Wait just a minute. Yar, you must ask permission before setting foot or peg on another captain's boat. And you say I'm the dwarf? Makes one and no one. <laughs> one amulet coming right up. Okay, uh, I, I think it goes. Damn it. I forget how to make this stay on. Stay here. I'll find something to hold it on. Thanks, Max. Time uh -oh. to stick the amulet to the telescope. Then that treasure is ours. Well, what would make it stick? I don't understand. Tape! Score! One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. Okay, give her the tape. Avast, maiden. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard! I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Artoo? Hot Monday? dog man kite. We thought we were going to be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Mm hmm. Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. So, do we get to actually look through it? Wait. How am I supposed to use this? Looks like it's the upside down. Lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Okay. This drawing is supposed to line up with something. All right, so we're going to flip it all around here. I wonder if the blue things line up, maybe. Oh, wait a minute. There. Right there. Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Where is it? Here? Okay, take a step right. Oh. No, no, the other right. <laughs> My right. <laughs> My other right or your other right? Your other right. Sure thing. Wait, what? <laughs> Just go that way. Oh, perfect. Now come towards me. Right there. That's it. Bingo. Oh, I thought she had that little trowel shovel, I guess. I wonder what they buried. Just like a box full of stuff from their childhood, I'm going to imagine. What the? That is not what we 
bear it. Dads? Okay. What is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. For Bloody Bill. Oh. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? Would be oh, your dad. Right? William Bill. Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. That's so cute. Is she wearing the same shirt? <laughs> which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary, I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. Aww. I'm sure you're excited to open your tiny capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Oh. Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed. And always remember the real treasury. Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid <laughs> college savings plan. <laughs> <Harp>. <laughs> that was cute. But he put it in like one of those bear proof containers, yeah, which is a good idea. Yeah, I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! <laughs> oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. The Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you're so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine. <laughs> Dear Chloe, how are you today? I'm doing very well. It is Friday, June 27th, 2003. It is summer vacation. We are making a time capsule for you and me in the future. We are making it pirate themed. Wasn't that hilarious to find? These are some things we like. Favorite animal, Arabian horse, Max, and otter for Chloe. An otter in my water. Favorite food, lobster roll, Max, and coffee ice cream, Chloe. Oh, coffee ice cream sounds delicious. Favorite class in school, art or library, Max, and science for Chloe. Best friend each other, both. How about you? Are you age 12 or more? What are your favorite foods, movies, etc.? That's all for now. I hope you're having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Sincerely, Maxine Caulfield. About mine. What did I write? This is so Chloe. Dear Maxine, hello from 2003. Here is a record of how we spend our days. Can you guess which one is real? One, we go to the same school and always sit together at lunch. Duh. Two, we have sleepovers at least once a week. Three, we like extremely salty pretzels. Four, we are in a race to see who can convince your parents to get a pet first. Five, we are going to live together when we can afford it and only use gold paint. Six, we've battled many foes and never failed to save each other. What did you guess? If you guessed all of them, you were right. Your friend forever, Chloe Elizabeth Price. So cute. You were really sweet. Oh, man. I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. Goopy. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Oh no. <gasps> Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. Did he already leave to go get her? Is that what's happening right now? <sighs> All these memories. 
I want to look at everything. I feel like she was wearing a different shirt when she goes back in time in the first game, but I could be wrong. So maybe, maybe this isn't the, the same day. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. Manga might be the one thing where Chloe outnerds me. I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little nostalgic. That was cute. Oh. Well, we can help tidy up. How sweet is that? If only it were actually that quick. Much better. <laughs> well, gotta help out. That was a good week. I used every possible excuse to be here for breakfast. Good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two whales waffles in your own house. You're a loving wifey. Aww. I always look especially short next to Chloe. That's the photo. Okay, so we're on a different day then, but because that's the photo, I'm pretty sure that she took the day that William died. But wait a minute. That doesn't make sense, because why would it be here now? I'm confused. I don't know. Let's just play. Um, okay, I was going to say, there might be a few more things to look to at. Great pirate swords. Goodbye, Vase. Soon you won't have to worry about me knocking you over anymore. Chloe's grandparents live in Idaho now. I guess compared to that, Seattle's not so far. I wonder if that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was talking about. She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it, but... Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell. This might be my only chance to get her to talk about it. Ooh. I'm gonna listen. I wanna hear it. I don't know if I should. This is Ann Rogers, Marissa's mother. Marissa from Blackwell. I need to talk to you about what your daughter did to Marissa in class today. I'll be keeping Marissa home with me tomorrow. Hey, hold on. Are you serious? I don't want my parents to hear that. I've never gotten in trouble like this before. They already know. I, um, I saw an email on your parents' computer. Snoopy Max. Shit. What happened? Something so minor. Her mom is exaggerating. I bet Marissa told her that I... I'm telling you, it's stupid. It all sounds awful. Hmm. Come on. You've got to tell me what happened. I'm your best friend. Ma'am, none of this would have happened if I had you around. I wouldn't care what anyone said. Uh, sorry. I don't mean it's your fault. I... Anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone, so I... Turned up her Bunsen burner in science. Just a little. What? No one got hurt. Not even close. You know that I know what I'm doing. Chloe. What do you mean she wouldn't leave you alone? She was making fun of my clothes and... Calling me a scholarship kid. Is that why you wanted to throw away your hoodie? Don't worry. I'll keep it. Hmm. You got this, Chloe. Hey, you can handle this. You're so much cooler than she is. <laughs> Just to you. Thanks, Max. Well, now we know what happened. Obviously, Marissa's a little bitch. <laughs> Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. Yeah, that's not going to last very long.
Chloe and I have been friends for so long. Oh. Maybe I'm worrying too much about this move changing things. Look how tiny they were. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, 2001, 2002. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. Hey, what if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? She just doesn't seem like a video game person to me. Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago, but I still feel bad about it. Hmm, should we speak to her? Sit, see what she's got to say. You're such a space hog. Move over. Nope. This sounds like she's drawing. Are we going to hear some thoughts from Max or just sit here looking at Chloe's feet? I think this is all we're going to have. It's just this quiet little moment here. Which it sounds like there's supposed to be music too. I wish this moment could last forever. I think that's probably it. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna back out. See, it still sounds like she's drawing too. Okay, so let's look at the stuff on the table, then we'll talk to Chloe. That time capsule was such a good idea. That I is know, right? awesome. We're geniuses. <laughs> it's good to see you, old friend. Billy the squid. Or Billy the kid, I just got that. I actually might be writing once oh. a week too often. Will I run out of things to say? No, because you don't end up writing at all, Max. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. Predictions. <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. It's so hard to predict the future. Maybe it's better to enjoy the present instead. Predictions for the future by Chloe and Maxine. One, we still hang out with each other more than with any other person. None of us are medium, or both of us are medium popular. Both of us are dating our second boyfriend. We did not make decisions without consulting each other. The talking skull of our enemies. Both of us have a pet. Chloe has visited Antarctica. Max could come, could have come if she wanted. One of us has a little sister or brother. We are doing well in school. Aww. I guess they're both only children. I never thought about that. Ah, these are awesome. Chloe's always been good at making up cool things to do. Flaming fingers. Oh, steel and flint. Just catch fire wherever you go. Ray of sunshine. Oh, using the sun to create a laser beam. Nice. I guess I should try talking to Chloe again about moves. I am I can do that after I finish looking at everything. They talk so slow. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. I mean it's supposed to outlast a bear attack, so holy crap. It's the uh, end of that comic in Chloe's room. Oh, this is gross. <sighs> Maybe you should come down and power a flight this dude's face off with me. <laughs> Just like melting his face right off. Dang. All right, so that's everything then. Let's talk to Chloe. Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. This is so silly. Jesus, Jawbreaker is going to last forever. That's cute. This Jawbreaker is going to last forever? Just like our friendship. Oh, Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Machinist alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. 
I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once her parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She's already got enough drama from Blackwell. She needs to know. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Chloe? Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. My family's moving to Seattle really soon. Hey. In three days, right? Why? Oh, she knows. You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know. But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything. That's why she's been trying to do this. Don't look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. I should have just told you earlier. God, I feel so stupid. Max, I said it was okay. I was trying to tell you this morning, but... But I totally distracted you with the pirate tape. Success. Seriously? I didn't want this hanging over us all day. Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so... I just left it alone, you know? Come on. I want to spend every minute we have together having fun. We'll keep in touch, okay? And visit, and maybe we'll move back. Who knows? Chill out. We can go to college together. It's gonna be fine. Optimistic Chloe. Listen to her. We're Max and Chloe, remember? We're always together. Even when we're not. That's true. Cool. Let's find something fun to do. No. Oh no. Is this really it? Oh, Joyce. Oh, Jesus. Why is this how they end it? Like, that's gotta be the ending, right? Right after she told her she was moving, too. I mean, she obviously knew it, but oh my god. Jeez, this episode is killer. I didn't think it would add anything to the story, but really, it really does. I will say, at least she got the, um, got those pictures and the tapes from her dad. That's kind of nice, and she can kind of hear his voice whenever she wants. Oh. I didn't think this episode was going to make me cry. old. Are those her parents? What 
kind of feel like that's the same outfit next war to Chloe's funeral if you choose to sacrifice her. Are they leaving today? Seriously, the day of William's funeral? That's the day they are leaving? <sighs> oh my god, what a sad ending. just saying how optimistic she was and it's <sighs> just like the last time you see her as optimistic she's lost that that childhood it was just kind of taken from her with that now her dad's gone Chloe's or Max is gone I did not know that Max left Sorry. Is that for Max? I did not know that Max left on the day of her dad's funeral, though. Jeez. Just breaks your heart for Chloe. She's just gone through so much. That's the absolute worst day that Max could leave. I mean, I know it was planned already, but... Jeez. And that was it. My goodness, like, I knew it was them together. I, I did not realize that was how they were going to end it. My God, that's, ah, just tears you up. Very good, though. I like, I like what they did. Again, I thought that that was not going to be anything that would contribute much to the story. It was just going to be like a day in their childhood, but I didn't know it was going to be that. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess there's nothing else to look at. So yeah, you just skip it and that's it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. <sighs> okay. Well, 
I'm so glad I played through that. I did not expect to cry from it, but man, that one tore me up. That was so sad. Um, okay, so that's it for Life is Strange Before the Storm. We're done with this game. We're, well, we're moving on to Life is Strange 2, but we have to play the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit first because it ties in to Life is Strange 2. That'll be the next part that comes out uh, next week. As always, thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, friends.